right, it's recording. All right, well, since we last checked in, we've now collected about half a doer's worth of liquid nitrogen here. It's nice and cold. It's at equilibrium for the most part at uh, about 77 Kelvin, as I mentioned before. And uh, rather than waste the nitrogen, Daniel thought he'd like to put it to some good use and do a little demo of cryogenics. Didn't I have a banana? See, we could do it. Treat a banana. That's kind of fun. I have an apple um, in the car. An apple? Apples are cool, too. But, but, but without my authorization, mind you, since this is being recorded, Daniel went out and stole a flower. So when the grounds crew hears about this, I had no idea. I, I disavow any knowledge of this this flower that he plucked from the lovely bushes outside the building. And uh, anyway, so Daniel, being the uh, kind of sadistic guy that he is, has decided he wants to destroy a flower. But in the name of science, mind you. It's kind of like laboratory rats. Anyway, Daniel, I, I'll hand it over to you. You have a couple of options. You can use the tongs, or the, the tweezers, I mean, or you can use the, uh, the glove and just dip it in there until it stops boiling. It's going to boil. And we'll know it's boiling because there'll be a, and there it is, an increased flow of the gas out of there. The nitrogen gas is boiling away. Just keep it in there until it stops boiling, and that, that way you know the whole thing's at equilibrium. Until it's at equilibrium, it's going to continue to give heat to the liquid nitrogen and turn it into nitrogen gas. And then what you can do when you think it's frozen, you can just slap it on that paper towel. And it shattered just like it were made out of glass. How about that? Nicely done. Not bad for a novice cryogenologist. I have no idea what the term is. Cryogenesis? That's probably a better term. See, you know, a linguist I'm not. Anyway, these are our this is our operating theater for when the helium's ready. Where are we at, Maria? Lovely Maria is going to tell us the, the most recent uh, measurement on the helium fill. Ninety-four. We're ninety-four percent full. I think last time we checked in, we were down in the twenties or thirties still. So that's how much fill volume has uh, elapsed since we last last checked in. But what we're going to do is some of this nitrogen in here. We're going to use to fill these two plastic beakers, which we're then going to lower into the helium. Once it's collected in here, hopefully we'll have enough left over. Um, it's getting close. But the whole idea is to, as I said before, cool this doer down so that it's pre-cooled, so that we don't boil off any more helium than necessary, getting it cold enough to support holding liquid helium. So we're going to collect some of the nitrogen in here into these two beakers, which once the helium's in here, we're going to lower the beakers into the helium and turn them from liquid nitrogen the solid nitrogen. Okay, so and by the way, our our most recent camera person is Rosanna, which we'll get her on camera. She's shaking her head no, but you know, if the worst comes to worst, I'll just sneak up on her with the camera. She she can either do it voluntarily or by surprise. Okay, check in with you in a little while. Thank you.